sewing of surfaces has also been enhanced. Now the enhancements are primarily within the selection intent of the sew feature. So uh, notice at the top we still have sheet and solid. Solid's been there for quite some time. And first we select our target. I'm going to pick this blue surface. This is our target. Notice there's no other selection under the single body. Select our target. Now for tool, this is where the abundance of the enhancements have been made. I can come in here now and say, oh, I want tangent sheet bodies or adjacent sheet bodies or connected, whatever it is. Okay. Sheet and adjacent sheet bodies. So in this case, I'm going to just say tangent. I'll select this guy down here and all of the tangent surfaces will be selected. So I'm no longer having to try to trap something in or is it tangent, not tangent. The system does the selection process for you, which is nice. This is really, really nice. Now this has been in here for a little while, which is sheet boundaries. I'm able to come in here and temporarily visualize the sheet boundaries and, and see where, oh, I have a gap and if I come in here and say, oh, wait a minute, I've missed a body. I'm going to show the body. And then now I'm going to pick that body. You'll note the gap gets filled in. And those sheet boundaries are no longer visible. And I also can show the vertices to see where the splits are and say, all right, oh, maybe you want to clean up the edge or do something with it. A lot of times I will go back and try to remove the the weird vertices if I have to build additional surfaces off of the boundary and try to remove those additional uh, vertices so this is a good check to see what's going on along the edges you have your key targets key tools optimize face all that stuff is still there I'm going to change this to sheet so that way I don't get the little information bubble that appears magically once I'm done because I use temporary that sheet boundary is going to disappear once my sew has been applied. Okay. And once I double click on it, you'll notice it comes back on. If I say persistent, I'll just turn off vertices. Give it a moment. It's updating the feature. You'll see the boundary now is persistent. And notice, here's my sheet analysis boundary. If you want to, you can delete it or leave it or go and put an analysis on your surface or sheet uh, boundaries, so on and so forth. It's in here. Now, something else that I want to just show real quickly. Let me come up to this body. Should I just delete this? So just redo it. I'm going to add just a law extension and I'll just pick this edge, pick this face. And it's obvious that this is not tangent by any means. Okay. It's just a sharp. So the reason why I wanted to do that is when I come into sew to demonstrate some of the other options that are located here, pick my target. I'm going to come in here and select my sheet boundary. Now again, notice because these are just tangent surfaces that it's picking, this surface does not get selected. Now had I come in here and use connected sheets, deselect and reselect, you'll note that we'll, it will go through and select the new surface. But there's an option in here called check tangency. You'll note that it shows up in red. This is not tangent. So the analysis is happening on the fly. You can verify whether something is tangent or not. You'll notice I get the alert down here as well. And this is really, really nice. I've been playing around with it a little bit. This kind of acts as a check. So during the sewing function, rather than doing my analysis and verifying all the boundaries and making sure there's no gaps and slivers and all the other stuff, 
That's done on the fly now, which I think is great. Now, a lot of times I will come in here and uh, turn off the sheet boundary display because I don't want to see it. Because you may have a very small sliver that's not tangent you want to verify. So turning that off allows you to go in there and, and verify the tangency. I'm going to select OK. And it's going to create my so. And just like that, I have one big, beautiful surface. Okay. And again, I deleted the last boundary, so you'll notice the analysis node is, is just up in the tree. So I know a lot of people ask questions, and uh, one of those questions was about so when you would apply the analysis. Where can I turn that analysis off? Okay. Now, here's your answer. It's putting an actual analysis feature in the tree that you can either hide, delete, suppress, whatever you want to do with it. You just go in there and remove that analysis feature to get rid of that boundary around that surface. But that sheet boundary thing is very nice. It's a great check. This check tangency is absolutely brilliant. It's a great check. All of this stuff is done on the fly, on the sew, right away.